Hi, it's Lisa Adams from Fresh Air Careers again. I wanted to do uh, resume tips part two. So what I want to cover today is just a couple minutes on accomplishments. I want to take that piece about accomplishments and numbers, numbers, numbers that I mentioned in uh, part one and kind of build that out a little bit more, possibly explain that some more to you because I get a lot of questions on this. Well, Lisa, I've got a job that just doesn't, it's not numbers driven. Um, I've got a job where, you know, I don't know what the numbers are. I just know that I service people and they're happy and that's all I know. So how do we put numbers with that? Well, it's really simple. Pretty much every company, if you think about it, when they post a job, they're posting a job for a very specific reason. They're posting a job to help their company right? And it ties into one of these things I call buying motivators. So when an employer hires you, there's a buying motivator for why they hire you. And in the same way, there's a buying motivator with why they post a job or why they have a job at their company. Um, whether it's sales or not, whether it's revenue driven or not, there's a reason uh, for those jobs. And so they find value in those jobs. So that means if you've taken those positions and you've been in those positions, there's value. You have value with what you did in, in your work. So let's take, for instance, a software engineer, right? Software engineer is coding and maybe developing a product that eventually is going to go out the door and is going to be sold. So at the end of the day, it will drive revenue. You may not know what that is, but you can say how many products you worked on, um, which ones did go to market, and even you can pull out the market numbers on those. So there is value and some of the buying motivators that I want to kind of kick into a little bit here on this is that, you know, the buying motivators are how did you save the company money? How did you make money? Um, how did you retain clients? So were you able to keep the clients happy and so they stayed on board, which meant that there was still income coming in for that company, still revenue driven. Um, did you change the brand or did you update their marketing, which brought in new clients? Um, do you work with the employees? So you help retain employees. By retaining employees, there's less turnover costs and thus you're helping the company save money. So there's always revenue tied to any position. It may take a few steps, it may take a little research to find that out, but there is. There is numbers associated with that. And again, every company has a position available because they find value for that position to be helpful to their company. Um, so think about that when you think about your past jobs and what you did and the value that you brought there and then that will help change your mindset a bit and bring it towards the future jobs that you're looking to do and you can bring that to your resume and, and for two things you can bring it to your resume to say how you brought value to that company and how you're explaining your past history but also it's a reminder to you that you always have value. Um, you always have value in what you've done. You've been successful in the past. You will be successful again, even if you're hitting a rough patch right now. So I hope those are helpful tips for you about accomplishments and revenue driven and buying motivators. So apply those to your resume and uh, you'll be off and running some more. Some more tips coming soon. Thank you.